Firdas, I want to talk today a little bit about uh, stock picking. Actually, sounds uh, simple, right? Um, but uh, apparently not so simple. We've got a huge choice of stocks to trade with and uh, it always matters which stock you are picking at the right time. First, um, here's my small recap for the day, as you can see here. Just a short one. Let's do it uh, quickly. Um, my best trade, Tesla, as it happens quite a lot recently. I've got four green trades three losing trades, but uh, one very green trade. So end result up over $29,000 and still riding, still riding RAD and still riding TKNG, small size though, but uh, doing very, very good today. Let's talk about stock picking right now because I think that's something that uh, is extremely important. Take a look at uh, DKNG. We shorted it under $64.50, was it? Under $64.50 right over here and at that point the anticipation was that the market will come down let's start with the market it's very important to first realize that s p as you can see here five minute candles started with a gap down today initially moved higher then came down a little bit and at that point since the market started in red, my anticipation was that it will come down under the lows and possibly continued, which it did not, but it did come under the lows. It was good enough for my first trade, you see here in Tesla. At that point, Tesla came down and uh, I had my first trade in Tesla, which worked out fine. Then the market, for some strange reason, moved over the highs and then started coming down a little bit, which was good enough reason to take my second trade in Tesla under 625 here and also had a nice trade. And then Tesla moved to a new high and then came down again, which I did not trade. But the thing with the market direction is that when the market starts in red, you expect it to continue its downtrend, especially after yesterday. Now look at what happens yes, happened yesterday. You see the market started in green, then came down, closed the gap and continued. So we finished yesterday in red uh, with uh, a very strong downtrend, uh, high volume at the end of the day, you would expect a continuation. The, the continuation did come today. It was expected that the market will have some upside movement, but then fail. And once the market started to fail again, at this point right over here, we saw the market coming down a green candle and a red candle, which just came under the green candle. At that point, since the anticipation to start with was that the S&P will fail today. At that point, although it looks as if the market is likely to continue its uptrend, that's the point where you should start thinking about going short again, because again, you anticipate the market to come down. So the question is, how can you pick a stock? Which stock should you pick at that point where you are anticipating, assuming you are, that the market will come down? So you've got DKNG which is down like 5% or so and uh, did start with a gap down today, moved up because the market moved up initially. Then the market came down and it came down again. Then the market moved up and it came up again. But the thing is, it remained in red throughout the whole day. It remained in red. You're looking for stocks which are outperforming the market. Outperforming means that if the S&P if the is down 0.5% and DKNG is down 3 or 4 or 5%, it's outperforming the market. So if you're looking for a short, you always look for a stock that is weaker than the market because assuming the market will fail to move lower, it did not fail, but assuming the market will fail to move lower, a stock which is relatively to the market, weak, outperforming the market, could, with some help, continue to come down if you short it. And, you know, maybe you will not have a big winner. Maybe you will have a small loser. Maybe you have a normal so-called loser. But your chance to start with, when you're shorting a stock which is outperforming the market, is much better than shorting a stock like some of you guys like NEO. Now, NEO also came back from the highs, but, you know, Everything, when the market's coming down, will come down. The question, what happens if the market fails? If the market just, you know, just came down and would have stopped in the middle of the range right over here and then continued to move higher, then you would have a losing trade in NEO. But this downside move over here in the S&P gave us enough space to take our partial in DKNG. So you see, a small downside move in the market before it broke down under the lows gave us a chance to take 
a partial in DKNG because DKNG was uh, outperforming the market, therefore was much weaker than the market. So whenever you see the market moving down, DKNG is likely to move more than the S&P 500. That's the advantage you have when you're shorting a stock going long as well if the market's moving higher but short right now today shorting a stock which is much weaker than the market then you know pick on the stocks which are outperforming dkng did not move up and close the gap at this point it was down much more than the market short it neo no reason to do that tesla no reason to do that i mean had a nice two trades in tesla today but no reason to go for a third one because again it moved to green territory it does look weaker than neo so if you if i need to give it uh if i need to rank neo and tesla tesla moved up closed the gap continued higher i don't like that for a short candidate neo held most of the time in green territory today and right now just came down a little bit under because the market just broke down. So, you know, again, NEO is not a good candidate. Tesla is not good a good candidate. Maybe Tesla is a better candidate than NEO because it just moved up not that much over the highs and failed. But look at DKNG. And we also mentioned uh, Baidu and we mentioned uh, other stocks that looked nice because they kept in red. They were weak throughout the whole day kept in red, even when the market was moving up almost to close the gap, was very close to closing the gap, these stocks kept in red. So you want to short something, pick the weakest one. And, uh, you know, again, uh, DKNG worked out very nice for us. And uh, I do have some small, very small sizes and I just let it ride longer right now. So I'm having a very good day. I hope you guys are doing well too. And um, thank you for joining. If you're on YouTube, how about giving us a thumb up? Helps our channel and helps more people like you, uh, you know, get across our channel and hopefully join us. The more we are here in the trading room, in our live trading room here and in our YouTube trading room, the stronger we are. We pick better stocks. Uh, we have better opportunities and it really helps us if you give us a thumb up because it helps other people to join us as well. So thank you all for joining. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Just enjoy the rest of your day. So have a great day. Stay green and safe. Bye, traders.